from Appleton, Wisconsin. This is the Anderson Pens Podcast. Welcome to Anderson Pens Podcast, episode 467 for Thursday, December 1st, 2022. This week, we have banter, news, updates, a Brazilian beauty, a con- a classy correspondent, a contest winner, a new contest, plus a mermaid from Sailor that is coming soon. Hey, Steph. Hey, Brian. What do you call a deer with no eyes? I'm not sure. No idea. <sighs> what do you call a deer with no eyes and no legs? No idea. I don't know. Still no idea. This week we're coming to you from Home Run Pizza. That is another local small business here in Appleton. This mom and pop pizza shop has been open since about 2014. And they went from making pizza for church fundraisers to a year-round operation to a full the full restaurant that you see in our location bumper today. I think we should be taking. I mean, I, I've been there. I am sure you have been too with Eric usually, and uh, uh, it's not. This doesn't do it justice. So. Ah. I think, I think we should be there filming this. You, you have to taste it for yourself. It's good pizza. It's good pie. Really good pie. It's up on, uh, on Wisconsin. Huh. I haven't actually been no, there. No, you haven't been there. Okay. To... If Eric called me up one day. He says, yeah, you want to come over to home run? You want to get some pizza? I said, sure. He said, okay, meet me at home run. Ah. Uh... There it was. So. Oh, we've got a... We've got a holiday today. We've got a holiday? What is that today's holiday? Apparently, today is National Christmas Light Day. Is that so? Huh. Since it's officially December, we're allowed to finally put up Christmas lights without judgment. Yes, yes. We can celebrate it. And I, I learned some things. Apparently, before the invention of electric lights, families would balance candles on the branches of their Christmas tree. A risky practice that eventually led to several house fires. I am not surprised. Wouldn't, wouldn't you want to see that? Yeah, I'm not sure I could sleep if I knew that those things were burning away on the tannin bomb. Who's, who's the guy who thought that was a good idea? Anyway. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Thomas Edison tried to, to stop the madness by inventing Christmas lights, but they didn't really take off until 1903 when General Electric released a a, like at home Christmas lights kit that made it oh, easy. 1903, huh? preventing okay. countless home fires and saving many lives. I'm sure. <laughs> you put up Christmas lights at home? Sometimes, sometimes. sometimes. Okay. You don't have a tree though because you've got cats. So yeah, we learned that lesson. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, what else do we have here? Am I reading yes. this? You know, yeah. Read this? yeah. At the end of this year, at the end of each year, starting this year. So I guess this is the first annual. Uh, we urge, beseech. And ask our audience members to please, please, pretty please, with sugar on it, uh, subscribe to our YouTube channel. Our goal is to have 10,000 subscribers before December 31st. Uh, The math is beginning to uh, show that in order to make that goal, we really need everyone watching to please hit that subscribe button. And uh, once again, if we do make it to 10,000 subscribers by December 31st, Lisa and I will do a podcast in person right here in Appleton uh, at Anderson Pence. Let's do it. All right. We got some news coming up December 8th. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, I don't know, even know what day of the week that is. I think it's, it was a Wednesday, maybe. Um, fourth basic son. Uh, December 8th, Chicago, Anderson Pence Chicago, in store event with Kerry Yeager from Kenro. So that means Esterbrook. It means um, Aurora, Montegrappa, Y Studio, uh, Pinner, uh, no, Pinarello. <laughs> um, uh, Pininfarina, Pininfarina uh, and they are also now the new Schaefer distributors, uh, so we can we can talk about that, but that'll be December 8th yeah. uh, in uh, Anderson Penn, Chicago. That's one week from today. Is it, is it a week from today? Okay. Yeah. I was just, just doing Great. the math, like, well, well, trying to remember how to pronounce Pininfarina. Uh, I, 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 may, I may even be there. I don't know. Oh, so we'll see. Exciting. Mm-hmm. And, um, and, and in other news, Christmas shopping season is here. So if you are in the continental United States, be sure to place your orders no later than December 16th for delivery by Christmas. And if you're international, I don't know exactly when the deadline is, but get those orders in as yeah. soon as humanly possible. And if you're not sure and you have a time limit, give us a call. Um, international shipping can be kind of hard to predict. Yep, so. absolutely. Mm-hmm. Uh, we got some price increases. Oh, that's right. Um, Going up January 1st on the following brands, 
Uh, and some of them are small, some of them are larger. Actually, Pilot, Platinum, and Schmidt refills are all um, going up in price. So if you've been thinking about getting a Pilot or a Platinum, uh, now is the time, time to do it. Strike while the iron is hot. Yes. So, uh, and then we have Guess the Pen and Brian's Podcast. And Brian's, Brian's Pocket. Uh, we'll reveal that at the end of the podcast. Got your bases covered by putting your pocket Something in the podcast. In the podcast, yes, yes. You'll never guess it. I don't even know what it is. So, anyway. Oh, double blind. <laughs> double blind. We're doing science. What's the weatherman's favorite food in winter? Burritos. Very exciting. You want to talk about this? Yeah. I'll hold. Good. I'll be the model. The Estabrook Jr. Beleza, Beleza. I think Beleza. That sounds good. Yeah. It is uh, inspired by the coastlines of Brazil, which should probably give me a clue as to how to pronounce that. I'm not quite sure Sort of like Belize? Belize? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I like that. I knew we could get this. We could figure Mm -hmm. this out. We got this. And it's supposed to be a little piece of paradise for the cold winter months. And we've got these shimmering swirls of blue and green inspired by Brazil, of course. It's available in both gold and rhodium trim. I see you've got the gold there. I've got the gold, yeah. I've got the rhodium. Uh, this, one, this, one, this one looks good in both uh, both the trims. Yeah, I can't decide which one I, I like I like the better. gold, but the, the is being blue, it, you know, it works yeah. good with the, the, the rhodium trim. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough call. But this is that diamond cast acrylic material okay. that we've been seeing so these sparkles yeah this i always is look great. at these and think, it's, it's wow, real, it's real it's subdued so unless you get a lot of light on it you know yeah yeah and they've got some like less sparkly colors mixed in there so to really kind of like make the sparkles pop which is important because those yeah. are made from bits of real diamond <laughs> they are that's why they call diamond cast yeah. Um, so this is just a really great pen for somebody that's looking for a vintage inspired travel pen Travel friendly pen oh, that is right. small but mighty. Fits my hand perfectly. I, I really, really like the size. It is a nice size. Mm-hmm. Nice size po- posted is a real nice size. Yeah. They've got lots of options for you. Here you can get nibs that match the trim color in any size from extra fine to 1.1 1. 1 stub, as well as journal or stra- scribe and custom the and the needlepoint custom mm-hmm. grinds. And when is it arriving? It says right now. Oh. Um, in T minus. Yeah, yeah. These are these are in, uh, and these are uh, the name. In, of course, the JR is J Revisit, J Revisited, or J Reborn. Um, uh, it is literally the exact same size as a, as a full size Estherbrook J from the 1940s and 50s. Um, but it, it seems like it has a little bit more. I like the I like the way the the material feels. So like it's a little bit stronger. Sometimes those old Estherbrooks and older pens they feel a little more fragile. This is just. It's got a nice uh, uh, strength to it. I think the acrylic makes it uh, gives it, but real nice. This I think this is the prettiest one yet. Don't you think? Yeah, or yeah. It's up is, there. It's up there. This is a really, really pretty swirl. I am a, I'm a big fan. Yeah. So we've got some of the journaler nibs in stock. Uh, yeah. Scribe and needlepoint would be special order, uh, but these are limited uh, limited editions, uh, so they won't be around for uh, too long. So when they're done, they're done. So. There we go. Yeah. And we've got some G. Lalo note cards to take a look at. I think these are designs that we've had around for a little while, but in slightly different packaging. Hmm. Highlight, we've got the poppy. And I also Oh, have... I've got some here too. I'm looking yeah. at you. I'm like, well, you've got all these things down and I don't have... <laughs> Fear Which not. Which one is this? That is the Garden of Eden. This is the Garden of Eden. So this yes. is the first, first one on the list. that would make a stellar, like, classy Christmas card. Oh, it's got a little peacock on there. Yeah. Look at that. It's just, it's got all the little things. Yeah, it's nice. Every time I look at that one, I find something new. There's leaves and stuff. Oh, there's another bird. Yeah. There's birds all over the place here. Stealth birds. All right, cool. All mm-hmm. right, so Garden of Eden. Mm-hmm. You've got Poppy. I've got a Poppy that we showed off. I've got a dandelion. And uh, I've got the daisy mm-hmm. here. And my surprise of the week, I didn't realize that the daisy says merci on it. Well, does it really? It does. Yeah. I've never. How long have we had this? A long time. This is I've like never the world's most subtle thank you in Christmas that's, cards. That's great. That's They're beautiful. So classy. I didn't even know that. That's oh. neat. So what's the deal with these? These are in. These, they're back in. We've got all the different varieties, and yeah. they're come with. Uh, what do they got? Uh, five cards and uh, envelopes. Nice. So. 
for your last minute Christmas card needs. <laughs> And we've also got the Twisby Swipe in yes. Ice Blue, which it's I have finally, not got It's finally see. in. There it is. Oh, Look at it. It's so pretty. I think this is one of the, the best um, best colors they've come out with yet in this pen. I love this pen. Uh, what, a, what a nice color. That is just... It reminds me of... Have you ever had that soda? It's like a Japanese soda, Ramune. Uh, no, I haven't had it, no. Oh, oh. That's what it looks like? Yeah, it's I the like exact the, same color. The matte silver clip really sets it off nicely, and then, of course, the red on the top. But so why do I like this pen a lot? <gasps> this. This is massive. This is the uh, the Twisby International cartridge. So this pen has an international uh, opening, so you can fit any international cartridge in here. But it comes with not one, but two massive size converters. One spring-loaded. And one is piston. I'm glad you specified because I wasn't sure if it was the cartridges and converters yeah, that were giant yeah. or if you had just shrunk suddenly. It's giant. Um, mm -hmm. Do I even have a, I don't think I have one here, handy here, but the, trust me, this is massive. This is a massive uh, cartridge and uh, it won't fit in any other pen. Even though it's an international nipple size, it won't fit in any other pen other than the Twisby Swipe. We've tried, but... How great is that? You can get your syringe, you can fill that up. Yeah, I just want to fill that cartridge with something else because it's so cool just, and it's clear massive. and huge. Look how big these are. I love them. This is a great pen. Um, now in the ice blue, uh, extra fine, fine, medium, broad, 1.1 stub. Just gorgeous. Like that. Very nice. Very gorgeous. Nice. And another really gorgeous pen that I have not gotten to see in person. And everything is in the same color palette this week. We totally planned that. <laughs> Very nice. Nice. This is the Visconti Kaleido Unicorn. Yep. And not a Homo sapiens, even though it looks a lot like a Homo sapiens. Yeah, it's really close, isn't it? Yeah. It needs a it needs a band, a couple bands here, and then a band on the cap. And oh then, yeah, those guys on the then cap. Then that would there. that would do it. Otherwise, it's yeah. it's spot on. Uh, it's got that little like push and twist lock mm -hmm, mechanism, mm -hmm. and oh, I just love this. It's like looking into a nebula or something. The color is... It's a real pretty color. Yeah, it's really it's subtle. It's just a subtle pink undertone in there. Yeah, it's really not... really kind of makes it... It's not too overly pink, It's but it's just a lovely, lovely shade of uh, turquoise and, and pink. Really good looking pen. Yeah. So Very those are in pretty. stock. Power filler, um, in-house uh, gold nib. So Yeah, those nibs are really great. So yeah. you're playing around with mm -hmm, it before mm -hmm. and just thinking... That's got some beautiful spring to it. Yeah. So do we have we have notes on this at all? No, we don't have any notes on this. Jonathan Brooks material. Uh, so you know it's uh, it's pretty cool to have a U.S. Uh, made material uh, coming out from uh, Visconti. So uh, check those out. They're really yeah. super cool. Gorgeous. And limited edition. Limited edition, yeah. I can't tell if this is number 99, 990 uh, or 66. I'm going to go with nine, uh, 990. All I, right. It could be either, though. It could be mm -hmm. 66. So The world may never know. I think it's 66. <laughs> What do snowmen eat for lunch? Iceburgers. Last week we asked, which Thanksgiving side dish is your least favorite? I was very excited I didn't, for the I don't results. know that I, did I take a, did I take a vote on this one? I don't recall. I think I, I counted you under uh, stuffing, but only if it I has like raisins. Stuffing. Oh yeah, stuffing with yeah. raisins, yes, Stuff yes. Mm -hmm. You're, well, you, I don't know how you remember this. I don't, I don't know either. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Think, Raisins and stuffing. Don't do it. It's, a, it's against the law, and yes. you were not the only person that that thought that. Did somebody else say that? Yes. Yeah. We. So, uh, what is it? Twenty three percent of our respondents agreed with you that stuffing. <laughs> that we they voted for stuffing as their least favorite. Almost everybody had the same specification. Yes. Yeah. Only, only the kind with raisins. Yeah. I love. I love it. Otherwise. So. Same here. Same no, here. Never enough. Mm -hmm. Uh, green beans was also a a uh, popular Thanksgiving <laughs> loser. <laughs> it, it fell it, it fell behind eventually, but they got seventeen percent of the vote. And the green bean crowd was not was was quite decisive. Is there this was, is this the green bean casserole thing with the onions and the sauce and stuff, or is this just green beans? I I had to kind of group them together. I okay. I grouped anything green bean related, green bean related. into this one okay. category, but I think well probably the casserole. Usually. I kind of like the casserole. I, I like that. It's oh. good. A green a bean crispy onions. That's my favorite Thanksgiving <laughs> side, but you know, to each their own. 
More thanks, more green bean casserole for me. <laughs> but turkey gets a dishonorable mention for being the least favorite side dish for 10% of our respondents, even though it's not a side dish. <laughs> <laughs> you don't like the main dish. Okay. That's fair. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not everybody likes turkey. It's, That's you know. I, I, I had to keep it competitive by sure. saying by specifying sides. I, I never would have would have suggested the, the thought that anybody would would pick turkey, but yeah, yeah. Uh, right. and the winner of the Thanksgiving losers was my own personal least favorite. Although there is one version oh. of this recipe that I do and genuinely like, and if you're a person that I know and you have fed me candied yams, it's surely the one that you have fed me. Uh, <laughs> so with 25% of the holiday hate, sweet potato casserole oh, yeah. or candied yams was, yeah. was yeah, the just... most commonly disliked side dish. Mm-hmm. And I'm, I'm hesitant to say that, uh, to, to share my answer on the air, but yeah. that would be my vote. That's your, that would be your vote. All right. Notable comments. Couple, couple, uh, couple notes from the peanut gallery here. Stephanie Young writes, have a good Thanksgiving. Thank you. You too. Uh, my least favorite side dish is yams. I don't like the texture. So soft and squishy. Ew. Ew yeah, texture. Yeah, that, that's it for me too. That texture is just the squishy part. Yeah, the squishiness. Yeah. It's. Uh, and Ed Riley also says Happy Thanksgiving. Ooh. Happy Thanksgiving, belatedly, Ed. Hmm? There is very little that I find on the Thanksgiving dining table that I do not like, but if I had to live with them, oh, one item, it would be gravy. <gasps> I know. He preempted me, us. Sounds blasphemous, but it might also be the one thing that would actually... Li- oh. it, it might also be the one thing that wouldn't prevent me from, like, living. So yeah, he said that if he had to get rid of one, he, had, he wow. would begrudgingly okay. Okay. part that's with a, That's an interesting perspective. Yeah, yeah. All right, we'll take it. Agree to disagree, but I can respect that yep. opinion. I'll have mm-hmm. your gravy, thanks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and Summer Pearls says, Always fun to catch this on my lunch hour. Thank you for the entertaining break to my workday welcome and my least favorite side is something my husband's family makes called corn souffle and believe me the elegant name does nothing to make this revolting dish edible hope you had a happy turkey day nice. oh man you know and and in spite of my better judgment i am kind of thinking to myself corn souffle that souffle sounds kind of good. good yeah i can yeah. see you know, a little brown on top maybe yeah and- yeah the Just, marketing on that is really yeah, impeccable. But then she comes right back and says it does nothing to make it edible. So yeah. we're, we're, we're sorry to hear that. But uh, all right. Uh, Curtis George, George says, always enjoy the podcast, uh, especially the laugh takes. I can't stand when people serve ham for Thanksgiving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In all caps. In all caps. passionate. Yep. Mm-hmm. Uh, our winner this week, uh, Melanie W., I will go with stuffing. She says, I don't really dislike it, but if I had to give one up, that would be my pick. Uh, congratulations, Melanie. Uh, please write to Eric at AndersonPens.com, and uh, he'll take care of getting the uh, $20 credit placed on your Anderson Pens account. All right, we got a new contest, new what? survey. This yes. was like last, last minute. Yes, we are wondering this week, do you send out Christmas cards? And for extra credit, do you write them by hand? Let what do you know. mean, people? Don't, don't everybody? Doesn't everybody write by hand? I I have. I it, must admit, I have never written a Christmas card. You've never written a Christmas card? I, I think about it every year. You ever give a Christmas card? Mm. No. no. No, I I write my name and in, in the from part of Christmas presents. Oh, okay. But I I have, I have never every year I have like a hilarious idea. I'm going to take a picture of the cat and some sort of costume. Yeah, yeah, We're yeah, all going to yeah. wear matching costumes. We're going to send it out to everybody, and it's going to have great updates about our lives. And I never get around to never it. Never gets around to it. But I mean, you know, doesn't everybody write them? Or are you talking about the like the people that send those uh, printed out? newsletters of what's going on with the family for the year. Uh, yeah. And then I've, they don't sign it and they just kind of mimeograph it. And, and it's mimeograph. Nobody does mimeograph anymore. Darn. <laughs> but you know what I'm saying. Yeah. Yeah. So uh do I write out Christmas cards? Yeah, I think I do once in a while. Not very many. I've, I've got only, four. I've only gotten a couple of handwritten Christmas cards, but I have kept all of them because it does really make a big difference. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well let us know in the comments. Uh, one comment will be chosen at random to win a $20 credit to your Anderson Pens account. You want me to do this one? You want to do this one? Let's see. I bet you I bet you probably know more about I it than I do. I don't really know much more than you do, uh, but the what? next North American exclusive design from Sailor is here. Uh, it's called uh, Foul the Mermaid. Uh, it's got some serious under-the-sea vibes with a sparkling lilac body, an icy Pacific blue-green cap and section, 
and white finials. It is available in a full-size Pro Gear or the Pro Gear Slim. Uh, it has rhodium clip and accents. It has a bicolor nib and nib options for both sizes are extra fine, fine, medium, fine, medium, and broad. Uh, this is a, a North American exclusive. It's available only through authorized Sailor Pen North American retailers. And it should be here maybe this week. should be here this week. So uh, coming soon, another cool, uh, cool pen from Sailor. Thank you so much for joining us. Tune in next time for more talk about pens, ink, and paper. You can also check us out on social media as Anderson Pens. And don't forget, there's a store in Chicago. Where is that store? That is on the ground floor of the Palmer House Hilton, and they are open seven days a week. And who do you see there? That is Lisa. Lisa. She's always Lisa, seven days a week. Chicago.AndersonPens.com is the website. And uh, like this video and subscribe to our channel. And last but not least, the pen in Brian's pocket. I honestly don't know what this is. But Lisa tossed this my way over Thanksgiving. It is a uh, English uh, sterling silver hallmarked rollerball. So fancy. Uh, with the uh, the Schmidt 588, 5888 broad, double broad refill. It's fantastic. <laughs> so, didn't expect you to get that one. Bye. Bye.